On this Veterans Day, one advocacy group is fighting to build a memorial on the National Mall for those who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Our Joe Khalil is live in Washington with details on their efforts. Joe. Hey, Adrian, and as one advocate put it, uh, this was America's longest war. So you've got 20 years of stories to honor and to remember. And veterans of that war, uh, those wars, want a space to do it. Uh, and they want it somewhere here uh, on one of America's most hallowed spots. Michael Rodriguez served 21 years in the Army, including multiple deployments to Afghanistan. The most difficult deployment I ever went on was the one I didn't go to. Years later, his son, just three years old when the war started, would deploy to the same war zone, two generations, fighting in America's longest war. That point of healing. Now, Rodriguez and other veterans are fighting for a memorial of their own in a very specific place. This specific location provides it uh, an environment for solemnity. The place that this memorial should be is, is here in our National Mall in the sacred space. But it won't be easy. Congress passed a law in 2003 that bans any new construction on the National Mall. Of Arlington. Marina Jackman is CEO of an advocacy group for veterans. In 2015, they began lobbying Congress to make an exception. She says our veterans deserve their own space right here. When you started this, we had no idea how long uh, our presence in Iraq or Afghanistan was going to last. Absolutely. And we have 20 years at this point of stories to tell. We tend to underestimate how powerful it is for, you know, uh, people to have a place to go to, to, to kind of think and reflect upon uh, their service. Congressman and veteran Mike Gallagher is on board, co-sponsoring a bill that paves the way for the memorial. Now confident he and his fellow vets will have a place to mourn, to remember, and to heal. Would it help heal the wounds that, that our nation has felt and suffered for the past 20 years in the global war on terrorism? 100%. Now, approval for uh, this memorial is going to be in part of the NDAA. It's the Defense Department's spending bill every year. It faces virtually no opposition in Congress. Uh, so there, these uh, veterans feel confident about it, but it still means there's going to be a couple more years before they actually break ground, and they are still choosing a specific location somewhere uh, on the mall. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.